Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to Minecraft. But wait, what is this I hear you say? Where are you? Well, the truth is, I am on a brand new world. We only started this place up over the weekend. There is a group of us. Um, quite a few of us are on tonight. This is Aurora, the, uh, the server of the nice people at Team Tuxedo, who restarted this place over the weekend and kindly let me join in. So... I'm a part of this world now, and going to be building along with them. And during the uh, during the um, the uh, the initial build process, we all jumped on here and started getting things organised. I helped build this little farm here, and I built this place, the place I'm calling the Mead House, which was uh, just a little community uh, building for everyone. So uh, to start off, we had uh, a number of beds in here, some community stuff, and of course a cake I made everyone. It's going to go stale if they leave it out. So here we are. Um, I'm not going. I'm not giving up my world. <laughs> I, I, there we go. Finally. Right. I'm not giving up my world. Uh, I will carry on me building there. It's just uh, I was given the opportunity to do some stuff, and it would be, I just thought it'd be nice and interesting, and make a pleasant change to start building stuff amongst the team. So I'll be doing plenty of collaborations and things like that here. Oh. Uh, just give a quick run around and then we're going to make a, a, a quick build because I still need a house. But this is modern Murtais. Uh, very nice place. Love the floor. I like this place so much I filled it with chickens the other day. If you want to see what it looked like, uh, Mod will be putting up a video fairly soon about it. So Here's the downstairs. Here's the upstairs. Here's Mod. Mod looks AFK. And here's a chance to just jump off his roof. There we go. And across here we have uh, Warlock's place which is very very interesting. Uh, I think he's starting to get a little bit more paranoid when I come past here so that's there. Well, let's, let's go and visit him because nothing says more than I feel you're a friend and complete paranoia. So his house, nice little bit of carpet on the floor, the room, and he can go up, he can go down. Down is, well, let's face it, down is just utterly, utterly, utterly terrifying. I have no idea what he's going to do down there, but oh, I'm getting vertigo just thinking about it. And up, we have here a, an automated wheat farm which he is working on. I'm not going to play with it just yet because I don't know if he's finished it yet, but I will come back and run through how this works. Basically, we'll grow the, th the the wheat here. This water comes down and washes it away. But like I said, there's no. this is not really finished yet, so I will wait until it's done before we come and have a play with it. And as you can see, it's still a work in progress. But a very nice working process progress is that that is going to be very very interesting so I'm looking forward to seeing that later on and moving on there's my place over there again and uh, let's, uh, let's head over across around here across the water and go and have a look at some of the other places uh. So yeah, another world. These are the people. If you uh, if you saw it, if you remember right, I did the uh, ultra hardcore with, and that was loads of fun. Uh, I'm hoping to do some more in future. To be totally honest with you, uh, Mod and I were working on this road the other day. Hello, Meritai. And excellent job done there. Somebody's built themselves a a little fort up here, a little sand castle. I do like this. And I hope they don't mind, but I saw this the other day and thought, you know, what this place really needs is a moat. So I dug in one, filled it with water. Yay! And he seems to like it. He's extended it a little bit, so I'll take that in positive. And Mr. Nutson here, uh, Nutson90, is building himself quite an impressive castle here. Which, like many big builds, is going to take him all year, but is so satisfying when you get it done. But... Uh, yeah, it's starting to look uh, rather impressive. And moving on, back past the uh, the sand castle here, back to the rest of the village. And 
and uh, through here this was all planes and the the mod um, uh, sorry the uh, the administrators of this mod has uh, made the uh, the biomes four times the size as usual so this planes was actually four times the size and we had to go so far to get uh, wood we ended up making a little tree farm here not sure who's living here but uh, it seems to have rained since you dug that hole uh, Moving on swiftly past our little tree farm. There's Tort up there making his uh, um, lovely house out of chocolate by the looks of it. And But it looks far more interesting here because, let's face it, this is the place where you want to build, looking out over the river. Good night, Murtai. And there's a bit more. I believe that's going to be a tree farm over there. I'm uh, looking forward to seeing what Locke is going to do. So, uh, let's get out of here. It's starting to get wrinkly. And Squizzy's house. Squizzy, skeptical squirrel. The man who beat me in uh, the last Ultra Hardcore. His house is pretty nice, I'd say. Made out of. Uh, Mixture of logs and planks, a lot of glass. That looks very, very nice. And he's got himself a pet dog. And those doors always fight me. And there's a few more houses over here. This is the last of it. I believe this house is Whipstitch. And a very nice house it is. Um more shallow than house it's sort of very alpine i do like this indeed and it's growing some sugar sweet tooth by the looks of it and yep start a little farm sorry not found any yet uh nice little job done here I think and yeah looks like there's some more farm going on over there but for now let's move on let's uh, go and show you where I want to build something this is uh, the village that was uh, right by our spawning point and we made a, a point of walling it off as you can see it's actually got some quite impressive battlements now the problem was we couldn't do it before zombies came in and killed everyone so we've got basically got an empty village here now which we are intending to repopulate fairly soon but I was thinking you know what I haven't built anything like this in a long while so what I think I want to do is build inside the village walls so I'm actually going to build a like little manor house and it's going to be inside these walls and hopefully it's going to be great and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, get some gravel, which I don't have yet, and build it across here and make a path. And then just build behind it here, I'm thinking just a little two-story house with a little tower. And so, alright, let's make it. I'm going to go into cutscene mode now, and you guys, you tell me what you think at the end of it.
Right, I think that's about as far as we're going to get with this in this episode, but uh, there's the basic structure. We're going to have two floors, a large tower to one side. I'm going to give that a nice pointy roof. And this, this, this floor needs some roofing as well. I might put a little bit more decoration across the middle, not sure yet. But there's the basics, and I think it pretty much fits within the theme of the village houses. So, that's pretty much all we got time for this episode, but before I go, one thing I wanted to show you was my little mining area. Standing guard up there. Which is out beyond this village here. Which is out beyond this village here. There we go and way down here past the enderman and in fact let's run Let's see if we can do this without getting into a fight and then down here not far to go turn right at the pig and here's my little my little mining area so I've got some trees growing, I've got some wheat growing for food. I've got an invisible axe, yeah. And the slightly displaced Englishman mine is down here. And as usual, if I want to mine, I want to go down to where the diamond is common, so there's a little bit of a way to go down here. Dum de dum de dum de dum de dum de dum de dum Yeah Ah Hmm I'll take my pit of lava extra toasty please So that's all the stuff I've managed to mine since I got here like this okay couple of days almost a stack of iron blocks this is nice mining territory and I'm doing some branch mining off here uh, one thing that amused the heck out of me is that is about I don't know, about 200 blocks deep, probably a bit further. Okay, so I dug all the way down there, I found some diamonds, I came back here, I knocked out this earth, and no word of a lie, I found diamonds. I am think the game is trying to cheat me there, to be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> never mind. So, there we go, this is my new world, this is Aurora, this is... Um, run and hosted by the lovely people at Team Tuxedo at, uh, with me here so I'm going to be doing probably my live streams here I might be doing a few builds here and I will be interviewing a few people as well as entering some of the Team Tuxedo competitions so not giving up my world not named my world yet let alone uh, give it up but um, I will be splitting my time between here and there now Oh, I've just noticed, level 29, almost time to enchant my axe. And next time, we'll put a back wall and a roof on that house as well as put a path in front of it and perhaps go on to some other builds as well. Ouch. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to duck back down here to avoid that creeper. I hope you've enjoyed this. I have been Simon Parsons playing Minecraft on Aurora. Thank you and good night.